This is now on fire, where I get to talk about all the movies, TV series, other awesome just waiting for you to stream them. This week we're going to be talking about action and adventure. Who doesn't love it? And here are a few of my personal recommendations, new and old. We've got Interstellar, fantastic sci-fi goodness with Matthew McConaughey, Anne Hathaway, Jessica Chastain, and Michael Caine. It's space exploration, planet saving, time stuff that I still don't understand, but it's awesome. Then you have Fast and Furious 7, which I would say this is one of the few series I feel like the movies are getting better the more they make. You get over the top ridiculous fun with some art at the center. It's all about family. At least that's what I think. Then you don't tend to back on that. Then there's John Wick, easily one of the best Keanu Reeves movies in the past decade. The plot is literally a retired assassin. His wife died. After her funeral, he gets a puppy that was sent from her. Someone, for some ridiculous reason, kills the dog, and Keanu Reeves then spends the rest of the movie killing an uncountable amount of people. Just kidding, it's 77 people. So if you're ever wondering, Yes, puppy-loving, revenge-seeking assassin is a win. Then you've got The Fifth Element. It's a classic action-adventure flick. You've got Lilu. Oh, Lilu, I love you. Then Bruce Willis, badassery, and Chris Tucker, impossibly one of my favorite roles for him ever. He had all the ooey-gooey greatness of 90s action movies, but then throw nerddom on top of it. Jessica Jones, you have Kristen Ritter as Jessica Jones. It's beautifully shot. It's filled with amazing action. David Tennant is by far one of the best evil villains ever. There's only one season right now, but it's been confirmed for a second. I can't wait. And then Phil's pick, my pick of the week, is going to be Prison Break. Seasons one and two of this show are easily some of my favorite TV that has ever been made. It starts off with a guy in prison, his brother decides